How to survive in the wild. Fiji edition. Hi, my name is Bear Grylls and today I'm going to teach you how to survive on a deserted island. Come this way. Now the first thing you've got to do is you've got to get yourself out of the blistering sun. Now the way you're going to do this is you're going to steal yourself a shirt. Now this can be very dangerous because you might offend one of the locals. Once you've got yourself a shirt, the next step is to find yourself an island resort. Now this can be very tricky because you have to make sure it's five star. And on top of this, it's very difficult to find your way around these complexes. So you've got to stick to the path. Let's go this way. I've been running for days, but after this amazing trek, I found myself at a vantage point to search for water. This is crucial in survival on a tropical island. I think I'm just going to ask for a map. I stand my best chance at finding water. Now I'm not very good at reading these modern maps, but as far as I'm concerned, that looks like water. So that's where we're heading. I just lost one of my thongs. Luckily, it wasn't my map. I've just found myself a wild key. This will allow me to check in to a room. This is the difference between life and death as well. Let's see if it works. We're in. Hello. Hi. Now, what we have here is a good source of water. Let's have a look what we've got. Now, Many of you are probably wondering why I'm not drinking this fresh cold water. As a matter of fact, it's chlorinated water. The sort of water you find in a pool that gives you the right carbohydrates to survive in the wild. Looks like we're going to have to search further abroad. Remember to always stick to the path. Can you hear that sound? That's the sound of running water. Now you should all know that running water is not fit to drink. If we were to drink this stream, you'd be poisoned to death. Let's move on. Judging by this map, we should be coming up to the pool somewhere over in that direction. Let's check it out. I've been running for five hours and I finally found myself at the source of water at the pool. Now the first thing I've got to do is I've got to eliminate all surrounding threats to this water source. Looks like I've shown you how to survive in the wild. <laughs> 